Difficult to treat resistance is a recently proposed term defined as non-susceptibility to all first-line antibiotic agents. This term is not clearly defined or accepted, but for example, may be used in a regional or local context to help describe antibiotic use. For me, as a clinician, the term reflects the need to move away from a group of first-line antibiotics I would usually use for any given infection, to a group of second-line antibiotics I use less commonly and that I'm less familiar with, and for which there may be less research evidence for their use and more adverse effects for the patient, as well as interactions with patient medications and their comorbidities such as chronic kidney disease. Overall, having to do this makes resistant infections more difficult to treat.